This is an explanation of the code that I use in Voice Attack to implement my simplified mouse gliding, the one where I can only move in four directions using four separate macros. The advanced gliding will be explained in the next video. On the right will be a list of variables and strings being affected by the code. For the simplified gliding, you can just say a direction and then either a speed or nothing. I'm using the example of having said up and perhaps with a speed. When it's gliding, the loop condition is for moving to be equal to zero, though if you haven't run any loops yet, it will be undefined. The code initially sets that moving value to 1, to give a chance to perhaps stop any other up movement scripts. Then it kills the commands for left, right and down. It doesn't terminate the up script, because this way of setting things up means that if I put in kill command up and so on, it would stop this macro right after it started it, and I'd get nowhere. Setting text input to cmd basically puts what I said in the string input. I set speed to equal that, and then I replace up with nothing, and I use trim to remove the space. I set the delay integer to 50, and the increment integer to 3. Then it runs through a series of if statements depending on what the content of speed is. If speed is crawled, the delay changes to 125, and increment changes to 1. If the speed is slow, delay is 50, increment is 1. If the speed is fast, delay is 50, increment is 9, and if the speed is sprint, delay is 50, and increment is 18. If I said nothing after up, delay would be equal to 50 and increment equal to 3, as in my original mouse gliding in VoiceBot. Here you can see the five possibilities for delays and increments based on the five possibilities of speeds. Let's suppose I specifically said up fast. Speed would come in as up fast, then remove up, and then the space, using trim. Because it equals fast, delay equals 50, and increment equals 9. I introduce the integer scalar. Scalar is what to use when you need to increase the speed of all of these glidings, which might occur in a game where the number of pixels in a revolution is quite large. The default is for scalar to equal 1. Scalar is multiplied onto increment to increase its value accordingly, so that the gliding looks better in your game. If scalar equals 2, this increment would equal 18, for up fast and if it was 7, increment would become 63. I set wait to be equal to delay, but as a decimal. Delay is the number of milliseconds to wait during the loop, but I need to turn this into seconds, so I divide wait by a thousand, and this turns it into 0 0.05, which when measured in seconds becomes exactly 50 milliseconds. I then set moving back to zero, and start the movement loop. The movement loop moves up by the value of increment, then pauses for a variable number of seconds, which is wait and this is enough to keep the loop going. The only limitation of this is that you can, if you wanted to, say up slow, then up fast, then up crawl, and so on, and create a series of simultaneous movements going up. Some of these would be stopped by the brief period in which moving is equal to 1, while it's doing all those calculations, but for the actual practical uses you'd use it for, this wouldn't be a problem.